someone bothered about terrorists, bandits in the north, not Kano. Hebrew youth lambast northern counterparts for opposing hyperbladers' release. This is the news headline. Thank you for tuning in to the news. Please don't forget that you can click on the subscribe button and the bell for more notifications. The news details. Hebrew youths under the ages of the Hoanazi Endubu Youth Council, OYC, have berated the leadership of the Arewa Youth Consultative Forum, AYCF, over the opposition to the unconditional release of the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, High Pope, Namde Kanu. Owen is the Indigo Youth Council, OYC, said its northern counterpart, Iowa Youth Consultative Forum, AYCF, ought to intensify efforts on solving attacks of Boko Haram terrorists and bandits ravaging the north, rather than poking its nose into the affairs of Kano. The Igbo group said this is Pardon, the Igbo group said this in its reaction to statements made by the Arewa Youth Consultative Forum President, Yerima Shitima, who during a media interview claimed that allowing Kanu to go unpunished would be detrimental to Nigeria and the Nigerian government. Yerima's view followed the meeting between President Mamadou Buhari and some prominent Igbo persons, led by elder statesman Chief Umba Zoriki Amichi. However, in a statement issued on Tuesday, on behalf of Igbo youths, the President General of Owanaze Indigo Youth Council Worldwide, Mazi Oku Mwambuiki, accused Shitima of playing politics with a very sensitive matter. Oku wondered why Arewa youths have never given such opposition to the release and reintegration of so-called repentant Boko Haram terrorists, but were against the release of Onamdekano, a freedom fighter. We have consistently made it clear that Kano is engaging in self-determination, which is recognized under the international law and conventions. The PFA agitation is also undoubtedly is also undoubtedly been fueled by the ill treatment of the Igbo in Nigeria. Until those points, there appears to have been no lessons learned by those benefiting from this unjust nature of the country. This is why the Arewa youths will talk the way they did. One expects that they should be more concerned for the worsening activities of bandits and Boko Haram than Onam de Kano. The Igbo group hurt President Buhari to go ahead and honor the Igbo leaders in line with his promise during the visit. The statement continued. We are also urging the governors and the Southeast Caucus of the National Assembly, led by Senator Ike Ikuremadu, not to relent on their own efforts. The timely release of Mazunam de Kano should be the utmost concern to every Igbo person and our political, religious, and traditional leaders must unite to accomplish that goal. The Owen is the Undergo Youth Council that countered the Northerners, the Harama Youth Conductive Forum, over their opposition concerning the unconditional release of Mazerunam de Kanu. That instead of them facing Mazi Unam de Kano, they should go and face 
the Boko Haram, the bandits. They should seek, they should be more bothered about those ones and not Kano. This, this happened few hours after the Igbo Kuwait, some prominent Igbo leaders went to meet the president in the presidential villa led by Chief Umpasuliki Amichi, who is the elder statesman. And one of their requests was that Mazu Unam De Kano should be released unconditionally to him. And again, he talked about the insecurity, that the insecurity in the Southeast is becoming alarming. And those that are threatening us, all they are demanding is the unconditional release of Kano. That if Kano is released to him, that he will be able to control him. And Kano would not be saying what he has been saying before. So, the president looked at the elder statesman, the 93 year old statesman, and said, Your request is heavy, but I will consider it. But just because the president said he will consider the request of those people, the Arab Youth Consultative Forum came up and said that the president should not release Masi Unam Dekano. That if Masi Unam Dekano is released, that means any criminal that has been caught and did not face the law, meaning that the person can call some evil leaders to come and bail him out, to beg the president, then he will be released. That we don't have law in our country any longer. They are, they are counter, they are counterpart. Making sure that Mazen Namdekano is not released, instead of them to face the Boko Haram, the bandits in the north. The northern youth say, says, Namdekano has done more damage to Nigeria than Boko Haram, bandits, Avacha, others. No. The leader of the Arewa Youth Consultative Forum, Jerry Mashetima, I said the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, Unam De Kano, should not be released. According to him, Kano must face the wrath of the law for his alleged atrocities against the Nigerian states. Now, this is in the hand of the president, whether to release him or not. Thank you for tuning in. Please share your view with us.